Alright, so for problem 8, it's actually quite simple. We know the work is the integral of the force over the distance, since it's just the, the, f the total force that you are applying to a system over a certain distance that you are moving, whatever, whatever you're moving, right? So, here we have a pretty simple graph. Uh, the way we can get these integrals, or the area under the curve is just by applying geometry. So first, we are asked about the interval from 0 to 1, and we see that to get the area under this interval, it's a simple matter of multiplying base times the height, and that's gonna give you uh, 1 meter times 4 newtons, and that's gonna be equal to 4 joules. This is for the first one. For the second interval, from 1 to 2, you see that you have this area here, but then it cuts and then you have the same area below, but it's below the curve, so you're subtracting it. So, in this case, you would be having, um, again, the base, 0.5 meters, times 4 newtons minus 0.5 meters times 4 newtons and that's 0 joules. For the third interval you have a triangle so again you just get this area base times height uh, but the area under the curve is negative since it's below 0 so you'll be getting 1 meter times negative 4, I'm sorry I forgot the number, over 2 is just negative 2 joules.